Thank you very much. A lot to get you now with the latest with the Commanders. Another day, a more drama for the team. The team released a statement yesterday saying that it launched its own independent investigation into allegations made last week against Dan Snyder by former team employee Tiffany Johnson. The NFL then released a statement saying the league, not the team, will conduct an independent investigation. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell doubled down at a Super Bowl news conference when asked about a common interest agreement that suggested the NFL may not have to have previously released findings without Dan Snyder's permission. Roger Goodell denied that. That's a legal agreement. I do not, I cannot explain all that. Um, our people will, but it did not interfere with anything that we did with respect to the Washington investigation. So now you have both the league and the team conducting new investigations. How that works still remains to be seen. Team officials have told us they will continue with their own quote unquote independent investigation. <sighs> For more on this, former Commander's Broadcast Team employee Megan Ember joins us. Megan's been outspoken about her experience with the front office culture and has publicly called on the team to release the results of the initial investigation. Good to see you again, Megan. Good morning, and thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we'll get to the release of the report a little bit later on, but I want to start with these most recent uh, revelations that came out yesterday. When you first heard that the team said it would investigate itself, but independently, what did you think? It felt like I was going back in the twilight zone, frankly. It felt like we've been here before, and it's absolutely absurd. So then, first of all, do you think the team could independently investigate itself? No. Then the NFL comes out and says, well, we're going to do an independent investigation. Did that make you feel any better? No, because the Wilkinson investigation, the news we saw Friday from Congress was that there was a common interest agreement between the NFL and Dan Snyder. And for all of us involved, we feel completely misled and that this entire investigation, or at least the intention of it, ended up becoming completely fraud, really. And then Roger Goodell came out yesterday and essentially denied that common interest agreement or at least said, well, that's a legal proceeding and I'm not going to go through all of that and explain it today. Do you believe what he had to say? I think Roger Goodell's in over his head right now with the amount of terrible press surrounding the league, everything from culture and diversity issues. I don't think he was briefed properly or he probably needed a lawyer with him for that press conference. And then to make it even better, when we reached out to the Washington Commanders yesterday to say, since the league is now doing an independent investigation, are you still going to conduct an independent investigation? And a spokesperson from the Washington Commanders said, yes, in fact, we are going to continue our investigation. What do you think the intent is for that? So, first of all, I think Beth Wilkinson is a respected attorney. Why wouldn't she be the one to continue that unless they believe that she's not going to whitewash her findings. So from my assumptions, based on what we've seen in the past and Dan Snyder's interference, my fear is that that investigation will be however possible to try to discredit Tiffany Johnson and Jason Friedman. And I believe both of them, they had no reason to come forward other than to try to do what's right to ensure that this man is out of power. And just to be clear, you mentioned Beth Wilkinson. She was handling the league's investigation. This investigation that was called on by the Washington commanders yesterday, different legal experts and different attorneys that would be running that, not Beth Wilkinson, just, just so that we keep everything clear. When it comes back to Beth Wilkinson now, and the latest from the league and from Roger Goodell talking about moving forward now with the league's new independent investigation, they said they will be clear about this and, and, and that they would make a better effort to release information. This all goes back to who was trying to protect whom, it sounds like, when it comes to witnesses. That was always the league's excuse as to why this was only oral testimony or oral report, not written information. What do you think happens down the road? So if Dan Snyder wants to show that he's innocent, then he shouldn't have a problem with releasing the Beth Wilkinson findings. The fact that 120 to 150, we don't know the exact number of people participated in that investigation at great personal risk. The past 19 months, some of us that have been outspoken, this is incredibly taxing. And the, the notion that they're gonna go, do another separate investigation and, and try to look at these different claims, it's just absolutely, I think it's disrespectful. I think we, we spent hours trying to bring truth to light um, fellow colleagues of mine, you know, going in front of Congress 
that is something that's absolutely surreal that they went in forth of the government, like begging the government to do something here. So my hope it lies with Congress still. I hope that they have a hearing. I hope that there's a way that we see both Roger Goodell, Dan Snyder, um, and perhaps Beth Wilkinson subpoenaed to really talk about what went on here. I, I don't have trust in the NFL. I certainly don't trust Dan Snyder. So it's very hard for me to say that I would ever want to participate in another investigation when they have gaslit us. We had Roger Goodell literally state that he was not going to release findings due to protecting us. And for someone to have the audacity to do that and and come after the victim saying like we're the reason why and he's trying to protect us and then come to find out he had a backdoor agreement with Dan Snyder, it's um, it's really hurtful. Deflate Gate resulted in a 243 page report about the PSI of game balls. Megan, we're I, have human you, I have to ask you real quick, and, and unfortunately our time is, is up uh, this time. Uh, you just tweeted earlier today about the cheerleader videos and some of the music that was in the cheerleader videos. That, and this was a part of the crux of the initial investigation going back to 2008 and 2010. Um, and you mentioned the music that was played in these videos, some of Dan Snyder's favorite bands. We later found out here on our own air in an interview that he did with our former sports director in 2011. Did that put more pieces together that, that maybe weren't there before? Well, for me, I always believed Brad Baker from the very beginning. So for me, I didn't have to be convinced that this was an order by the owner. And the fact that we had different producers in 2008 and 2010, and based on the, the commentary I've heard, and hopefully we'll see this when the report gets released, that this was potentially a repeat project. I think it's, it's a morally bankrupt position to put my fellow colleagues in, and I had no knowledge of it. We, I feel angry for them. I feel betrayed, and it's disgusting, and frankly, it's a crime. Megan, we're going to have to leave it there for now, but always appreciate you joining us. Anytime. Thank you for having me.